What's up, guys? Ziggy here with Foul Tech Unlimited. It is 11 o'clock Tuesday night, and I got to tell you, all yesterday, balls to the wall doing orders, and then half the lights went out in here. So I spent uh, a few hours yesterday, about till 1.30 in the morning, and <laughs> I ripped these. So all these right here, you know, so I took all of the fluorescent light fixtures out, and I installed these 15 thousand lumen eight foot quad row Cree LED surface mount lights and uh I absolutely love them now I can actually see and uh, they're not dying on me because I got sick of buying fluorescent bulbs eight foot bulbs in a six foot bed on my truck so yeah that wasn't too fun but uh the good news is I've been cranking out orders, I think, and since Thanksgiving, I've, I've had to do 40 or 50 orders, you know, hand of God. And, um, well, we're doing one tonight, or I'm going to at least start it, because I'll tell you what, once this comes out of the press, I'm done for the night, and then I'm going in, because ah, I'm feeling it. So, for example, an order for shells right there, and I got two store orders that came in simultaneously, one for 20 uh, holsters, another one for like 50 or 60 or 70. Uh, I got to look at it, but... I am cranking out. I've been doing a lot of foam pressing today, and this foam press is kind of difficult. I remember, you know, back in the day when I first started that this particular setup is a pain in the butt, mainly because of the controls on the firearm. So we're going to be doing, for a repeat customer, uh, George, if you're watching, this one's for you, uh, SIG P226. <laughs> Let me turn this other light on here. There we go. SIG P226 with the Olight Balder Pro R. Now, the, again, the R is completely different than the Balder Pro. The laser is integral mounted instead of at the bottom. So it's a lot longer and doesn't fit. So um, just keep that in mind when you're ordering a holster. This one is a right-handed, and uh, it's going to be pretty good. Now, here's another kicker. Spetsgear, they had a royal mess up with one of their manufacturers, so it's been nearly impossible to get these for the past life. That was my dog, and she kind of scared me. It has been nearly impossible to get these for about two months. Like, it's been ridiculous, out of stock, and uh, I tell you what, it's it sucked. So, luckily, uh, they're in stock now, Holster Smith's shipping them, and uh, we don't have to worry about that. But, obviously, we're going to have a hood on it, uh, Holster's going to have the QLS fork, and then we got a mid-drop with receiver plate that we're going to be installing as well. And again, this is all on a 226 with Balder Pro R, which would be a lot easier if we have a back form, but we don't. And um, I figured this would be a good one to showcase, because the last quite a few videos have been vacuum. Uh, yeah, vacuum forming, and uh, there's honestly, there's not a lot of skill in it. Everything is done for you in the design stage of the vacuum forming, and this is where you need all the talent. So let's get it blocked up, let's get it in my press, and then I'm going to clean up the shop real quick, head in, and uh, take a nap and come back out. So let's get this going. Bada bing. Now my ovens have been on all day, so my foam is nice and hot. I also have a um, kerosene heater in here that I've been using, and I heat up the foam with that too if need be. So uh, anyways, I have our in-house light widgets, which can be ordered or purchased right there. And um, we got some other blocking that we're gonna need, and we're gonna need the blocking for, there we go, I believe that's it right there. I could be wrong, I am wrong. Oh. But we're going to go ahead, block this out, and uh, get it ready to go. So, let's just do it. All right, so I found right here. This is for suppressor height sights. We're going to go ahead and tape that in place. Now, it's a lot easier when this is flat. Uh, if you notice, the top of these firearms have uh, a rounded uh, edge to them. So, I might just uh, hit that, make it flat so this doesn't roll side to side and like i said flat spot right there and oh so pretty all right let's get this on 
So I don't know about you guys, but uh, here in New England, whoo, it's getting cold. So tonight is about 20 degrees, which isn't terrible. Uh, I think the coldest I've had it here um, was like negative 27 or something like that, which I mean still is crappy. But like I said, we got we got the wood stove going. So well, I had the wood stove going in the garage the other day. I didn't have it today because honestly it wasn't terrible. It was almost t-shirt weather for the most part until it started snowing. But we have snow coming this weekend. So it looks like it's gonna come in Sunday and then stay till Tuesday. And I'm supposed to have a little bit of a couple drops tonight. Anyways, so we got that in right there. My next step is gonna to be to put five layers right here. And with different planes like this, I like to cut a slit and then go from there, so. That's what I mean by a split. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I just want to let you guys know, I was like having a Judge Judy marathon. So it takes a lot to pull me away from <laughs> that court and the people's court and all that stuff. So it's misery loves company. But anyways, I was like, yeah, you know what? It's getting late. Let's let's do a, uh, do a film. Oh, see how it creased like that? Which means that it's gonna show through the Kydex. There we go. Usually, we'll cut body lines. There we go. Cover the grip is. Technically, this one doesn't need it, but we're going to do it anyway. There we go. All right. Now, this one's going to be a pain in the royal butt only because uh, it requires a hood. So, but I have done it before, so I am not terribly worried. So, we got that. We're going to have our special blocking that I created, as in uh, modified. So, I took the Safari Land 3 hole, I put the beveled edge on it. So, when it sits against that, instead of sitting top, it drops at about eighth an inch or so and just looks more aesthetically pleasing. We need this right here. All right. Um, of course, we don't need that just yet. I'm kind of jumping the gun. All right. Let's get that going here. Bada bing. So that's going to go there. This is going to go just like that. And that is literally the perfect retention for this particular light because there's nothing on the body. It's all right there on the mount. And then we're also going to need. Uh, I have a block of aluminum right there that we're going to need as well. All right, we parallel to the slide. I'm gonna lock that in place right there. There we go. Flip that baby. Do the same thing here again. Uh, if you're borrowing the light from someone or if you're using your own flashlight and you don't care about, or you care about marking it, um, tape it up. It's no big deal. Uh, it's not gonna affect anything holster-wise. But as far as this goes, it will mark it if you don't uh, tape it, so. Just want to give everybody a reminder as well it is that time of year so shipping times have like god doubled you know so like for example my amazon prime account i usually get it next day 
two days maybe. Well, if I order something on Monday, I now get it on Sunday, so almost a week later. So, yeah, it sucks, but it's that time of year, so can't get mad at it if I have no control over it. So just kind of keep that in mind as a consumer as well. All right, throwing those together. I'm going to throw a piece of tape right here to kind of hold hold that up because I just wanted to sink down. Same thing with on this side. I'm not worried about that crinkling right there because it's got blocking going over it. All right. So now I'm going to block out the charging port. Otherwise, it will not work. Go right there, and you don't want to cover the retention spot. Always keep that clear right there, because our retention is going to be right there. All right, there's that. And so the gun itself is done right now. I don't believe I've done this combination, so I'm going to have to see if I have the, the plate. But what we still need to do is go for this. So I'm going to do a function check. It actually works. All right. And um, see, the good thing is with this particular blocking, it's going to be suspended and then I'll have wood under here and then extending down to the fork, which will be right about there because I'm going to have to offset it. So it might be a little bit closer, but I have to offset it so uh, the foam can get squished down into there because otherwise we're gonna get zero attention. Uh, the other attention spot is back here. I don't like to do it there, um, but it is kind of last case scenario. Um, so we'll get this probably in this area right here and that's completely okay. Another option is to do the three hole because you can still mount that on the three hole, but I like to spread it out with the surface area. Uh, so we know that the hammer pretty much goes back to the beaver tail, so we're going to keep that in mind, but we're going to line the back, the thumb rest with the back of the slide. So this is going to go roughly right around here, but we're going to have to move it up just a little bit because of where that retention spot is, because we're going to put this right around here, which means if we go too far down, this edge is going to hit that. So just keep all that in mind. And then... Let's see here, I'm gonna have to use, well, that's pretty good right there. Oh, not too bad, I'm gonna keep that as it is. Let's make sure it's parallel. You know when you're tired, like really tired, your eyes start burning? I'm, I'm at that right now. I said I went to bed about 1.30 last night, and it's currently quarter after 11. So, that's cool. Alright, so enough room right there. Yep, perfect. I'm going to lock that in place. Now, also an added benefit about this right here is um, it's going to have, uh, you know, peaks and valleys. So we're going to have that extra rigidity of this holster. And then we're going to throw this. Uh, we have to make sure that wherever it sits, we're going to have plenty of clearance with the top of this. Assume it's going to be down here. See right there, I could go up just a hair right there and be okay with it. All right, so we're going to look right around there and we will lock that in place. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just lock that in place so I don't lose it or it doesn't move on me. I 
And now just to find some blocking, which is probably going to be this guy. That's tall enough to work. Yep. Let's go this way. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so let's go down. And this is probably going to be a three foam on one side and two foam on the other. So I'm going to grab that third foam only because of the thickness now. Again, you don't want anything right there. We want the foam to get sucked down into there. The worst case scenario, we'll have to take the heat gun and manually push it in. Um, but I have tips and tricks for that loadout as well. Now this is, uh, it is far over, but we are far enough where if there was an RMR on this weapon, uh, which it says RMR cut, that we are not going to um, hurt that at all. So. holes there we go now I'm gonna grab this right here we're gonna go around so we want to be around here which looks pretty good so now I know that this is gonna sit right around here and it's going to rest on the grip and again i'm going to need that blocking and the blocking is going to extend out because that ridge that this creates right here that peak and valley is going to stop more flex and it's going to keep it more more rigid so we'll go ahead find Let's see well that's perfectly flat right there but that, that's a little small for my liking so let me see how this one looks right here no, no. So this one is shaved down. Do I have one similar? No, looks like that's going to be it. All right. Let's go this way. It was meant for that way. And let's see, the holster is going to be cut here and then down there. So right there is plenty of room. All right, um, I'm gonna check for uh, a plate. Um, this is compensated, so it's gonna be open bottom, so I don't have to add anything else. But as you can see, there we are right there. And that one keeps, keeps falling out, so maybe I'll add. There we go. That's not gonna affect anything. That way that blocking stays in and that should be good to go i'm going to check that real quick and here we are ready to go and like i said everything's all hot we got the third one which is going to be at the bottom so it really isn't too um you know detrimental but everything's all hot there we're going to go ahead get our black which i believe got one right there that'll fit yep and we'll throw it in all right, our Dex is in the press. We have the mold right there. And we have all of the foam in this one to keep it warm because, like I said, it is 
51 degrees in the shop, which isn't bad. It's grilling weather in your undies. So um, once that's in, it's going to go in the press. And then ha, we're going to see what it looks like tomorrow. Well, I'm going to see what it looks like. You guys will see what it looks like tomorrow. But anyways, um, so one thing to remember when doing something to this caliber, as in so many peaks and valleys, and you need to get in that little area for the retention, is you really want hot foam. Hot foam is your good friend, and the foam's very best friend is very hot decks. So this decks is not going to come out till it's about 390 degrees, and that's going to give it enough pliability to get forced down in there, and that way I don't have to play with anything after the fact. But that's, you know, that's the theory. But um, I have proven it, and you've seen it so many times that theories are working. So um, we're going to go ahead and get that knocked out. And uh, you know what, I'll, I'll show you before I go inside. Well, ladies and gents, we are loaded in the press and I really cranked on it, hands are hurting. But uh, so I'm gonna give that about 10, 15 minutes because like I said, really hot decks, really hot foam, takes longer to uh, cool off. But I wanted to show you something. So um, my daughter absolutely loves wolves. She's a wolf fanatic. She's psycho when it comes to wolves. So, um, I went on Etsy and I bought a STL file of a wolf, changed a couple things dimensions wise, uh, you know, ran some numbers and for 13 hours, this machine was running and this is the final result. Check that out. So that is uh, carved into a piece of one inch thick piece of wood uh, that is actually, it's like four or five pieces of wood put together. Uh, but as you can see, wolf head with wolf trees on a top of a mountain that my hands are covering. And it's obviously howling, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stain it, make it all nice and pretty, and uh, I might put a uh, you know LED light on the background or something like that, so she can use it as a nightlight. But that came out awesome, so we'll see. Now the next one is an elephant, so we'll see how that goes and if that takes 13 hours. And again, another cool project I'm working on. I'm gonna show you right now. I have multiple orders for the uh, X, uh, the P320 X5 with uh, the X300, so uh, I could make one, or I could spend another $130 and wait three weeks, or use some steel stick and make the bump out for it, which I did, and all I have to do is sand these smooth and uh, angle them so I could take the X5, and as you can see, it lines up now. So I just gotta go ahead and make it flat and line up good, tape over it, and then I just converted this one to an X5. Or hindsight 2020, I could just order an X5 from the beginning, and you'll have like a quarter inch gap when you do a 320. But it works, it's the same gun. So, but that's what I'm working on. All right, ladies and germs, it is shortly after midnight, so now it's Wednesday, and uh, it's just starting to flurry out. We're supposed to get snow tonight, and then clear tomorrow, and then yada, 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 but, Bada bang, so here's one side right here. That looks damn good, and I'm happy with how that came out right there. As you can see, it sucked way down in there. And then, of course, this side that came out super good as well. And there actually is an indent right here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but bam, right there. It may not be enough, but we're going to hope that it is. In the unlikely event that it's not enough, all we got to do is heat it up press it in with a small tool and then heat it up again and that removes all the harsh or sharp indent prints on the kydex and then it just leaves it look like a foam press so i am gonna bet that this is gonna work as it sits but like i said just in case it doesn't we'll be fine uh so this is the first part of the uh, actually you know what let's do this oh look and with a three on the bottom the three on this side two on this side it is perfectly in the center with that sight channel so that looks good uh, this is holster one of two. The other one we're going to run tomorrow. I already, uh, or later today, I already shut everything down. I swept, I took the trash out, and uh, like I said, it is uh, 12.04 right now. But the next one is a triple magazine duty style holster that we're going to do for the 226 as well, which I believe I have 226 mags here to try it out in. So on that note, I am going inside. I am going inside. I'm going inside. I got one of the dogs in here. Full of cereal time. Nap, nap, binky baba, see you tomorrow, see you later. You'll, you know what, right here. I know you guys can't see it right now, it is flurrying, but the perks of not being in the city, check this out. How beautiful is that? 
we got the lake and almost a full moon. I'll tell you what, it is absolutely gorgeous. There's my girl. And we are back, and sadly, it is dark outside. Uh, woke up early in the morning to a family emergency, which landed uh, eight hours out of my life. So let's get this cut up and uh, let's get it out. I'm hoping to uh, finish like four or five orders tonight, and it's 4.30 now. Four freaking 30. It's warm enough in the shop to uh, do what I need to do. The fire's roaring and uh and whatnot so let's let's get this out and cut up so but uh but yeah that was a nice pleasant um family emergency so but all right let's do it and since we know where the holes are gonna be yada 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 um we can go ahead and kind of get the gist of where everything's gonna go oh is this compensated Yep, compensated. Almost forgot. There we go. Line that up. Bada bang. Like that. Tension pretty much in the middle. All right, I like that. And our mark cut. So we're going to come down like so, which should be more than enough. Yep, that goes to the ejection port. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead, I'll drill all this stuff, and um, I'll cut it out. I won't bore you with that, but we'll make it pretty. I did go ahead, and like I said, everything's all said and done. It's cut. I even added the gusset and the hardware that we need to, or that I like to do, uh, which helps with the flexing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna go ahead and install the rest of the hardware. Let's see. Three, one, and screw. Right, so let's get some uh, magic blue juice. All this stuff right here. these by hand make sure they're not too tight because like I said if they're too tight then it doesn't articulate which there we are right there that's good uh, mold where to go okay not too bad let's see how the retention is like I said because we might have to push down on that retention spot ever so slightly I don't think we'll have to but there's only one way to find out and we're going to find out right now. The truth. Oh, actually, actually like that. Tighter. 
bigger than I can do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. Should leave it in. All right. And get that right there. Very cool. Right. Come on, big fella. There we go. Careful not to let go of the hood because you send that screw flying. I've done that a few times. Cut it too short. All right. Take two. Oh, yeah. That's going to be much better. All right. I'll add a little bit more in there. You don't want these falling off. That would suck. All right. It's good. That's good. Change it out to this bit right here. All right, square it up. Right. Don't need that no more. And 226 with Pro R. Here's the 220. If you didn't know, the 220 and the 226 are the same, just different uh different caliber. But bada bing. I love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't forget, I've got to install these, so let's move that aside. And since I jumped the gun again, let's get these attached. Again, like my father always said, never tighten everything fully down until all the bolts are in. And square that up. And there we are with this. Bada bing. Does that look good? And open bottom for the comp. I am loving it. Oh, baby. All right, guys. This rig came out absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for any better, and I absolutely love it. It is heading out to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, I can't wait for it to get to there. It is a repeat customer, so George, I hope you like it. And the uh, second part of this uh, order is a triple magazine holster. I've done it before, and uh, it's just a mag holder, nothing fancy. It's all back form, so I'm not going to bother you uh, or <clears throat> waste the time on that. So let's get this uh, back together here. I'm going to make that, so which means I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching and making it this far. Huge shout out to those of you that have donated for the uh, hot lunch meal that I've been doing with GoFundMe. Um, I, we're almost at like 700 bucks. I got a couple more weeks left on that, and we're going to be giving it to my local school to pay off all the hot lunch tabs of all the children that couldn't uh, or can't afford it. And hopefully that helps out those families for this Christmas time. And huge shout out to Holstersmith and KnifeKits.com for... Uh, providing everything you see in these videos without them i would be lost 
And now that it is almost 6 p.m., the entire day was wasted. I'm going to move on to the next order, finish up a few other things, and get going. So I appreciate all you guys. I'll see you on the next one.